<laughs> well, there's a new play at the Guthrie Theater based on an iconic film. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner focuses on an interracial relationship, values, and the family dynamic. The insightful comedy resonates with audiences today. I went out to lunch with the central characters of the show at Spoon River. Hi, folks. I'm Ben. Welcome to Spoon River. Um, we have a few specials going on today I'd love to tell you about. We've got three of them. Really, the story centers around Joanna and John's relationship. She comes home and brings um, an African-American doctor home, and thinking that her progressive white family will be in complete support. And really, it's, um, it's an interesting day for them because they're confronted with their principles firsthand. Booby trap. Be careful. He's definitely seen people be uncomfortable with the uh, love that Joanna and I share on stage. When we kiss. Um, yeah. Who, people who are visibly uncomfortable. Usually at older that white sight. men. Yeah. And then I've met a couple of interracial couples who have stopped me and said, you know, this is directly reflective of not only our lives, but the kind of conversations that we've had to have with members of our family and that we, you know, we have every day amongst ourselves. So in that sense, we are really touching um, a nerve and really bringing a story to people that makes them kind of question uh, the people in their lives and also how they feel about these things. Well, it's about time. I was wondering where you've been. Mom, this is John. And the fact that the storyline can be replayed in some way, what, 40, almost 50 years later, is both surprising and sad at the same time. Would you agree? I would. I would. I mean, I think it's a reflective of, just like, the, you know, they're testing the um, ideals of this particular liberal family. This play kind of speaks to the ideals that we think we have in America and how much progress we've really made. I take it by the look on your face, Joanna, just bust out with the big news. Well, she... Uh... She has told me a great deal, Doctor. And we've talked a lot about the comedy of manners and how it's all about perception and how people perceive you and how you want them to perceive you. But it's much more important how you act versus what you say, you know. Right. This is a play that actually makes you laugh in some places that are uncomfortable for you to laugh. And it's a play that will, um, makes a lot of people, you know, have tears because of the love that they see Joanna and I have, the things that we're going to, and also the things that they, I think ultimately are reflected in their own lives. My parents love surprises. <laughs> Did you know Maeve is the actress of the year? I am. Minneapolis? Yes. She was recently voted the actress of the year. I'm very, very, very proud of her. Maeve is a wonderful scene partner. She's a wonderful, um, you know, friend, and um, she's a very, very talented actress. Maybe so. blush on TV. <laughs> so I think she deserves, you know, to, for people to take note of her work. The actress, that is the actress of the year, and Jabin, who's also a pretty good yeah. guy. Uh, you can see them in this show through May 27th. There are two shows today, in fact, 1 o'clock and 7.30. Tickets start at $37. Was there a little love connection between those two? There was definitely, a yes, flirtation? a lot of affection there. Uh, whether it goes beyond that, I have no idea, but they, uh, the, the chemistry on stage was real in person. For